Hi guys, it's Ian from Global Air Supplies. I'm here with Jaya again from DLI. And I want to explain to you a brand new fixture. We're really, really excited about this product. It's the brand new DLI 150 UV. I've never seen anything like it before. And the way that Jaya explains it, I'm super excited what this is going to be doing to your grows in the near future. So Jaya, tell us a little bit about this light. Well, I think this is the next big step in grow lighting. I think this is a game changer by itself. Actually, we've been selling it now in the US for eight months and the results we're getting back are, are extremely exciting. So this is a full spectrum UV lamp and a fixture and it contains UVA, UVB, a little bit of UVC and actually goes all the way into far red. It does some amazing things for your plants. First thing, you uh, you use 150 watt UV for every four fixtures. So let's say you have 4,000 watt fixtures, you, you do a configuration as a five die. So you pretty much just drop it in the middle. And we were talking earlier, you said this should cover around about three meters square. Easily. Easily. So if you look at a three meter square footprint, where you're running your 4,000s or your, or your LEDs, this fits smack bang in the middle, yeah? Yeah, and it will cover all those four fixtures. So, and it's, it's just amazing. The first thing you will see are more vigorous, more healthy plants. The actually, one of the most interesting things is that we can see the leaves actually turning towards the UV light and actually praying. Yeah, you it. say it's like the like yeah, yeah. Instead the of movie, the leaves yeah. going like this, we actually see the leaves and then they actually turn towards the UV light. So you can see that the plant is actually craving it. One of the big advantages of using UV, besides your more vigorous plant and more stronger cell walls, is also going to be less problems with things like powdery mildew, borderitis, gnats, spider mites. All those things don't like UV. And depending on um, how much is in your room, it can stop it or slow it down. Yeah, because you say with trials, what you've been doing in the US, people are reporting, you, you stop thinking, you don't sell it for that product, but you're saying the spider mite, the, the uh, mold, all that kind of stuff is oh, no, not definitely, gone. Definitely mold, powdery mildew is a big one. It definitely is less powdery mildew. It will slow it down considerably, or even you will see that you don't have the problem in the room at all. So, so it might for some people actually be the end of spraying or burning sulfur or, so that's a big thing. Yeah. I mean, if it takes care of your powdery mildew, it's an amazing thing. Yeah, so it will slow way, yeah. it down or you won't see it at all. Yeah. but it will definitely help. Although it's a full fixture, we're not saying it's a light. So it's basically- a, it's, not a, it's not a grow light. No, it's an additive. Yeah, so it's like, like when you have additive for your nutrients, yeah. we call this a grow light additive. Yeah. So you put it by itself, it wouldn't grow any plants. So like an additive by yeah. itself, yeah, it would, yeah, it's, yeah. without the base nutrients, an additive wouldn't work. It's the same with this. It's not a grow light, it's an additive for your, for your grow lights. Yeah. The most exciting thing is what we see, that this is also why we actually put it on the market, is uh, we see a huge increase in turbines and also a huge increase in oil production. So it's just, you get a plant that is way more tasty. You get way more flavor out of the plant. You get uh, a, a stronger, stronger plant, a stronger, stronger product. Uh, uh, we see an increase in terpenes, and this is from actual growers, between uh, 15 and 25 percent. That's, that's absolutely huge. And oils between 10 and 15 percent. And at this moment, we just we are finishing up a test in the Ver, the Wageningen University, the biggest horticulture university. And actually, they did a real high output with the UV and actually came to 37 percent terpenes increase. By, increase. by putting more UV in By there. putting more UV. You only run it four hours a day. Of course, you can play with it to see if you can run it more hours a day. So all you do with this, you'll be running your HPS or your LEDs, drop this in the middle, every yes. four fixtures, put it on the uh, the second channel on the controller, start off roughly four hours per day. Yes. Whereabouts in your lighting schedule would you turn this uh, on? We, we call it solar noon, and solar noon is pretty much the middle of the day. It's when normally outdoors you would have the highest UV output. Okay. So I advise people to do it on the middle of the day. Of course, in some places people tend to like, oh, I'm there on the middle of the day. We don't advise to be in the room when this light is on. Yeah. This is not a light for beginners. This no, is an, it's a powerful this light. This is a powerful light. It's for advanced growers. Uh, it will bring so much more for you, but you can't look into the light. It's not allowed. 
and you can't work in the room for well, well, for, for prolonged yeah. time when the light is on. So like you say, for me, it does so many things. It stops you with pests, it stops powdery mildew, it's going to reduce the amount of mold in your room, it's going to increase your terpenes. Also, also uh, breakdown of residuals. So when you spray something on your plants, normally in agriculture, outdoors, uh, you can see that on all, everything you spray. The breakdown time has to do with rain and UV. Of course, in an indoor grow room, there is no rain and no UV. So putting UV in the in the in the indoor room will make sure that if you spray something still in your veg or in your early flower, that it over time it has enough time to actually break down and make sure you don't have the residuals in your end product. Okay, and you can use it in the veg stage as well because you're saying it increases your strength of your plants. Yes. Uh, well, you pretty much you start running it an hour a day, and then after two days you do a two hour a day and just go up until four or five hours a day, and then you're golden. But you've had people running this twelve hours a day and down to one hour, and it, again you, you play with it. We recommend four hours a day. We recommend in the middle of the light period, whether it's your eighteen or your twelve hour period, depending on what you're running, uh, and build it up and, and look at the plants and see how they they like it. Yeah. Don't go in the room when it's on. So basically on the controller, it will say the UV is on. So make sure the UV is turned off. Run it on a separate channel so you can manually turn it off if you need to do. But I am super excited about this one. This, this will make this, uh, this is the next big step. I've been wanting to put this on the market for a very long time. I, I, I've been in lights for the last 15 years. This is what I believe uh, is going to make, gen. is yeah. the next gen. Okay. So yeah, that's a 150 DLI UV. If you want any more information on this, jump on the DLI website, look on the forums. There's a lot of people saying some good things about this light. Cheers, guys.